What's up guys, in this video, we will talk about wizards in Ragnarok X next generation. Their builds, stats, and tips. Let's start. First let's talk about wizards. Wizards are very useful supports and damager in the game. They help control the mobs by using their skills such as Lord Vermilion and Storm Gust which has a freeze effect on the mobs. Giving more time to the party to adjust in team fights, especially in endless tower and instances. Wizards also have a skill called Firewall which is greatly needed in Endless Tower. The skill will protect the priest mostly in early floors because you cannot use heal in the early floors of Endless Tower. Wizards can be a AOE type or a Bolter type depending on the taste of the player. Next let's talk about their builds. In early stages of the game, I recommend building Adventurer Set or Golden Set, which is dropped in the instance of Golden Thief Bog. As for me, I decided to use the Golden Thief Bog set since it's cheaper and could be upgraded to increase the stats of the equipments. The Adventurer set could also be useful and can be obtained through Gacha. In Equipment Machine worth 10 coins for level 25 to 30 equipment. And 20 coins for level 40 equipment. The sad part is that the Gacha is random and chances that the equipment you get is not usable since it belongs to the other class. If you would want a wizard that lasts in battle. I recommend building Staff and Shield type of wizard. This type of wizards are mostly bolters since their casting is a bit slow compared to two-hand staff types of wizards. They can also be used as a OE but the casting is a bit slow. The solution is that you lower the level of the skill to make the casting time quicker. Shield type wizards has high damage but slow casting time. The other type of wizard will be the two-handed staff wizards. This type of wizards commonly has low health but very fast casting speed. I am a two-handed staff type of wizard since personally I enjoy the fast casting time. When using Storm Gust and Lord Vermilion, there are no stop meaning you can forever cast these two skills simultaneously unless you died or run out of SP which rarely happens. The reason why they damage more compared to shield types of wizards is because of the casting speed. Two staff wizards cast spells so fast that it results to their more damage. Next let's talk about their stats. Wizard stats are really easy since you only need to put all your stats on int or intelligence for its main damage. The casting time or called haste in the status details can be solved by equipping sets that has haste attributes. Meaning putting deck stats in wizards are not needed and will only waste the status points. Some tips when using wizards. When leveling, if you're only a mage use firewall and soul strike only. And focus on killing mobs that give good XP and job XP when being killed. Especially when you are using Odin's Blessing. If you're level 30 to 35, I recommend using Odin's Blessing on Tharofrog cause it gives good amount of job XP. And when you reach level 36, I recommend using Odin's Blessing on Skeleton Pirates. Another tip for wizards is that you always put firewall on your skills because wizards are known to have low defense. Firewalls are wizards best defense for melee attacks which is very useful in solo grind. If you have other suggestions or clarifications, feel free to comment below.